We did have initial concerns when we first took on apprentices. Uh, we thought that they would take a lot of supervision, take up a lot of our tradesmen's time. In actual fact, that's turned out not to be the case. I've often found that we've been a bit nervous about how we take individuals on. The, the way to overcome this, I've found, though, is to take them on a trial period on site, which could range from one week to six weeks to ten weeks. We know the individual we're getting is going to be capable of the tasks we ask of them. They have no shortage of applicants, and so therefore not too difficult to pick what you think is, is the best youngster amongst those. It's a constant concern with any commercial business about providing continuity for apprentices, but the work is definitely there and it's never deterred our business and you can't survive without having a trained workforce. The support that we get from CITB is absolutely crucial. If we didn't have their support, then would we take on apprentices? Then I'm not sure. I think it would be the process would be the paperwork, etc. It would be putting off, so maybe not. We can advise companies. We can put companies in touch with each other. We have apprentices offices who can match up the supply of young people to the demands that employers are facing. We work closely with the colleges to make sure that the colleges and the employers and the young people together can actually see where these opportunities are. And we also provide training. If anybody's currently thinking about is modern apprenticeship or taking apprenticeships on the right thing for them, I was in that position 12 months ago. Uh, I had some concerns. We found people who provided us with the right kind of support. Uh, and looking back, I've no regrets. Uh, we're reaping those rewards across the teams and my, I just recommend to anybody just give it a go. Um, I don't think they would regret it either.